It's 3 a.m. Time to wake up to catch a 5 a.m. flight to New Jersey. I get to the hotel and check in. I have just enough time to grab a cup of coffee, review my notes, and change. I arrive at the class. Students look ready, but they have no idea what they have in store for them. I'm gonna push them to their limits to make sure they are ready for the street dawa later tonight. Everything is on the table. The marriage of Aisha, terrorism, homosexuality, you name it. The students look uncomfortable. Good. We wrapped up the dawa training, and now it's time to hit the streets. It's only been one hour, and one of the young attendees has already given someone the Shahada. It was an incredible night. I had some great conversations, and I was threatened. This tall, broad, imposing ex-military guy started cursing at me as I was talking to someone. He said, I've killed people like you while I was abroad. Hell, I should kill you right now. He eventually moved on, but as he left, the gentleman I was talking to was shaken up. I personally think the military guy's timing was impeccable because he came right when I started talking about the ephemeral nature of life and the reality of death. So after he left, I turned to the shaken up gentleman and said, man, he could have shot you and I right here on the spot. And the man still shaken up, took the Quran I was offering him and said, yeah, I definitely need to read this. In all honesty, I was pretty shaken up myself, but I got to experience a tiny fraction of what Allah's prophets experienced in their da'wah. Earlier in the class, I told the students that da'wah gives you an experiential perspective of the stories of the prophets and messengers and their da'wah that you find in the Quran. Tonight was no exception. <laughs> 